Before 1986, about the closest Nintendo came to an actual plot twist was Toad showing up in the place of the princess in Super Mario Bros. But Metroid changed that in one big and important way. Now is the time to look away if you don't want to know what's under that suit, because today we're going to review Metroid's iconic conclusion. This is 23 Endings, The Early Years. It's the distant future, and a group of space pirates have attacked a Galactic Federation research vessel and stolen a sample of a mysterious alien creature. Their plan is to replicate these Metroids and use them as a biological weapon. Things look dire, but don't worry, the Galactic Federation has a plan. They decide to send in a lone bounty hunter named Samus to infiltrate the hostile planet and destroy Mother Brain, the biomechanical life force that controls the space pirate's base. Now, Samus is sent in with relatively no equipment and is forced to search the large and winding world for upgrades while also trying to stay alive. This masked hero eventually works their way through the caverns, finding an ally of the space pirates that goes by the name Kraid. Samus then turns the attention to Ridley, the commander of the space pirates. With both defeated, Samus sends a few well-timed missiles at Mother Brain and escapes to safety. The whole thing leads to this thrilling reveal. That's right, Samus is a woman. Okay, so maybe that's not surprising in a world where the character looks like this. But gamers were legitimately shocked back in 1986. A few were even angry. I don't know how widespread it was, but there was a feeling amongst some of my friends at the time that video game stars needed to be men. Thankfully, Samus was able to put that kind of talk to rest with a string of incredible sequels, including the title that Electronic Gaming Monthly named the best game of all time. I'd like to think that today's gamers would react differently. But uh, then I remember that somebody wrote this on my Rock Boshers DX review. Now, beyond the twist, this ending sends some mixed messages. It starts by telling me that I single-handedly brought peace back to space. That's no small accomplishment. But then it goes right into worrying that the Metroids might return, which we all know happens over and over and over and over and over again. It's not thoughts and prayers that are going to stop this Metroid scourge, but rather hiring a lot more people like Samus to fight the war. Hey, thanks for watching this episode of 23 Endings, The Early Years. So here's the question of the day. What was your reaction when you found out that Samus is a woman? I didn't want to make too much of an issue of people's reactions back in the day, since it's largely limited to the people I was hanging around. I'm curious if anybody else found these extreme reactions. In other news, I'm going to wrap up the week with an extra huge episode of 23 Endings, the early years. Come back tomorrow for a look at Ninja Gaiden 2. It's going to be a big one, so I recommend you click that subscribe button and support what we're doing here. Until then.